video. Welcome to Smart Big Guide video tutorial. So today we are going to solve this question on transformer where we are given a 3 plus 50 has transformer. It has a delta connected primary. So this is a connection in a delta. So the line voltage is being 22,000 volts and 400 volt respectively. The secondary has tau connected balance load at 0 0.8 power factor. So this is what the secondary looks like. So the primary current is 5 ampere. Determine the current in each coil of the primary and each secondary line. What is the output of the transformer in kilowatt? So here, the current in the primary, that is I1 line, is 5 ampere. So we are asked to find the S current. And here, on the secondary side, we are asked to find also the base current, but here you can see that the base current is equal to the line current. So on the secondary also, we have base voltage, but here on the primary, We have a line voltage. This is V2. So the secondary line voltage is a voltage between these two lines, between each of these two, between 1 and 2, or between 2 and 3, or between 1 and 3. So we are given a power factor of 0 0.8 ligand. Like So let's keep in mind the following relation. Line voltages are given by phase voltages multiplied by 3, that is for star connection. And the line current is the same thing as the phase current. Now for delta, line current is the same as the phase current, I mean, line voltage. Same as this voltage, whereas the line current is 3 multiplied by this current. So, from the data we are given, the line voltage of the primary is 22,000 volts, and the line current of the primary is 5 ampere. Now, the first voltage of the primary of the secondary. It's given as 400 volts and the first current or line current of the secondary is not given. We are to find it. So as I have said before, the current in the primary side coil that is the first current and the same thing as the line current of the primary which is 5 ampere. Now to find current of the secondary, we use the relation which is I2L power 1, I1L is equals to V1L or V2L. So you can see we have line current, I mean line voltage which is 22,000 volt. We also have uh, line voltage on the secondary side. So since the line volt current of the transformer is the same as the phase current, follows that I2L will be equal to P1L divided by 
and I'll add all by v to L. So this is 5, plan by 22,000, all by 400. And if you do the calculation, we are going to have 275 ampere. So we are asked to find the output of the transformer in Q. So P out is root 3, multiplied by the line current, multiplied by the line voltage, again multiplied by the power factor to a spike. So this is root 3, multiplied by 275, multiplied by 400, multiplied by 0 0.8, that is the power factor we are given. So we are going to have 152.4 kilowatts. Remember you can give me a feedback in the comment section.